Welcome back. Joining us on the show now is Mr. Atul Chaturvedi. He is Executive Chairman at Sri Renuka Sugars. Mr. Chaturvedi, hi. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you know, I want to start with the sugar prices first and whether it's about the international raw sugar or the white sugar prices. The last one week clearly has been eventful. We've seen gains come in. There are reports of short covering, drought in Europe, Brazil bending more towards ethanol. What do you give to this rise in prices? In fact, my take is that this bull run as far as the prices in the international market is concerned is largely the result of one the delay in the indian crushing season we expected indian crushing season to start on 1st of october which didn't happen so with the result that in the month of october hardly any sugar moved out of the country and the world really needs indian sugar and the other is with this bull run uh, the Indian defaults have also triggered uh, massive short covering in the international market. So all these things have resulted in uh, a massive bull run as far as sugar is concerned. And But that is not getting reflected in the Indian domestic uh, market. Our prices are relatively in uh, check hmm. and they've not moved up. The reason you have to keep an eye on the international prices is because the exports are getting contracted on, on, on a big way, really. Out of the 6 million tons, we understand that the 4 million tons has been contracted already. Uh, how soon do you see this pushing out? And the statement that you made that there are some reports of defaults as well on sugar being sold at premium to other states as well. How much of a quantum on high and how impacting is that? No, uh, uh, approximately we feel that about half a million tons of Domestic defaults have actually probably have happened. Okay. And this default is largely to the Indian exporters who had committed in the international market and had covered on a back-to-back -back basis. Hmm. So that default is, or rather, the other word now is that renegotiation of the prices. <laughs> that is actually help, uh, happening. But my take is that in the month of November, Physical exports from the country could be in the region of about a million tons. <laughs> Whereas in the month of October, there was hardly any exports worth the name because the quota actually came much later. Correct. So this should help in next couple of months, should help in cooling the international prices. And uh, I think uh, probably the worst as far as the prices or the bull run is concerned is probably over. All right. So you From do not this see... this level, we can start seeing a little bit of a downward pressure coming in because Indian exports will kick off uh, big time in November, December and Jan. Hmm. Hmm. There also is an international sugar organization report suggesting that this year we could actually be looking at a bit of a surplus coming into the international markets. Have you assigned a number to that? No, there are, <laughs> they are talking in terms of a surplus of about six, six and a half million tons. But we would much rather feel that it could be closer to about uh, 4 million tonne, but a lot will actually depend on the parity in uh, uh, Brazil between ethanol and uh, sugar. Mm. With sugar prices being so high, um, there are some talk that, uh, in fact, in Brazil, the sugar could be closer to about uh, 38 million tonnes as against 33 million tonnes of this year, so a uh, jack-up of about 5 million tonnes. So that will all, all depend on how the sugar prices remain in the international market mm. and how the petroleum and the ethanol scenario pans out. Clearly. So we feel next year, as far as sugar availability is concerned, uh, there's adequate availability. But it would be interesting to see how the trade flows actually happen. Mm. Because if India uh, has this... Uh, 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 start stop start stop kind of a scenario so that could mean uh, there could be blips in the international market all right so as of now all the good news has factored in into the markets right now but how the trade flows going ahead is something that will decide future course of action for the sugar as a sector there mr chaturvedi as always thank you so much for joining us we appreciate your time and that's all the time that we have on the show but uh, business lunch will take all the action forward after this very short break